<laughs> All right, sugar shrooms. day <laughs> that lovely meal I tucked the berries away for later even though I was craving a cliffside snack Sugar shrooms look amazing. Just the right amount of shroomy and not too sugary. Now, if you can find me the starberries, she's all yours for the discounted rate of one shiny gold coin. These starberries are perfectly ripe, just squishy enough, and with a faint scent of musky cabbage. Now, if you pass me one shiny gold coin, Grandma's giant star shroom pie is all yours. So you spent your only coin to buy that giant pie? I did. I knew that delicious smelling pie would somehow get me to the next round of the tournament. Oh, thanks for the patronage. Share this pie with a friend or two, or three. <laughs> and good luck in the tournament. Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. Ulfi was unquestionably hangry. Now that I am refurbished, let us extract that snarling Snarlax eye. Earthquake! It's all yours now. Whisper can do it. Um, fret not, little bandicoot. It is the two-eyed snarling Snarlax after all. London Bridges! Whisper! I, uh, mm, Ophie has a new plan. First we'll... Then you'll... Then I'll... But first... You'll need this. Whenever you need me, just give it a blow. For those brave souls that are still with us, welcome back. Now, you may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers in our kingdom concerned with the ethics of the tournament. <laughs> but proclamations and addendums aside, this is the way we have always done it in Daventry, and this is the way we will continue to do it. Now, Knight Hopefuls, if you would be so kind as to present your eyes. Oh, hold still. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back.
Is this hideous enough for you? Um, yes. This is... Uh, I don't think any addendums cover this. Congratulations, Graham! Welcome to the tournament! That troll is pretty ugly. Yeah, ugly in a sort of pretty way. That's not exactly what I meant. You know, like your cousin Hilda. Take that and that! Oh, Mr. Springbottom. What? You're surprised I'm competing in this stuffed animal tournament? You know what? I will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. Yeah! You're just too adorable to fight, Mr. Springbottom. Let's dance instead. Twirling and best friends and twirling. <gasps> Gwendolyn! I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, I'll take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. Just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. Now it's time for my favorite part of the tournament, the duels. <laughs> you will compete against each other in a duel of strength and a duel of speed, with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any ties will be settled in sudden death. The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring your steed to the tournament theatre for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament board. I will remain here for any questions. And good luck to you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. Has anyone seen that archer knight around? He probably headed home. He mentioned how hard it was for him to be away from his family. Whisper saw him headed towards the dark, scary well. Well, proclamation 4637373713467378 states that any knight who voluntarily leaves a competition needs to sign the release form on the back of his portrait. We've had problems in the past. Do I have any volunteers to track down his signature? Wonderful. Thank you, Pockets. Here's his portrait. If you could get him to sign it, that would be great. And talk to me if you have any further questions. Let the duels commence! Which did you tackle first? The duel of speed or the duel of strength? What are you doing this weekend? Oh, you know, taking the old lady out dancing. Yes. You've been working on your night moves? You know it. I'm all about the nightlife. Bring your trusted steed to the tournament theatre when you're ready for the duel of speed. You do have a trusted steed, don't you? I heard some guards gossiping, and I have to say, I'm impressed that you did not back down from that massive troll. A picnic, however, is disgraceful. They need to get back to work, not have tea parties. 
How much for that twisty dagger over there? It's not for sale. Needs a bit more work. Please be careful. These items are sharp. Do you have any advice for an aspiring knight? We need a traditionally brave knight in Daventry. One that can cut through all the new policies and rules, and instead get out there and protect our borders from enemies. We need a knight that can fight off our dragons. So, I've been meaning to ask. What is that amazing blade for? Is it for battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? Oh, that? No, no, that's for gardening. I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. Bye. Don't forget leg day! Oh, Graham! A little squirrel told me the news. <laughs> I couldn't be more delighted. It's not often someone takes my advice around here. I'm happy you're a customer, but I'd like to call you a friend as well. <laughs> oh, great job! Looks like we could put some love on those bones. What happened to your face? Oh, can you tell? Am I blushing? I'm engaged, Graham. My love, Bramble, said yes. Oh, that's, that's great. Congratulations. I, I was actually talking about the welts. Ah, those uh, are stings from some very angry bees. They try to ruin our night. But I wouldn't let them. Nothing can come between us and our love. You keep doing you, Wenty. How do I get my free sample? Well, bring me some bitter root. It's what I need to finish my walnut strudel. It grows under big, heavy rocks. Do you have any advice for an aspiring knight? Think with your heart and not with your brain or your biceps. That's the knight I want to see in King Edward's royal court. Good day. Have a sweet time. Oh, look. It's Graham, the soft of heart. The wannabe knight with a heart of gold. <laughs> Congratulations on making it to the next round of the tournament. Our crystal ball told us about the eye you presented. It was an alternative way to go, not as clever as what we would have cooked up, but you made a new friend. I guess that counts for something. Oh, uh, perhaps we shouldn't expect too much rule bending from a nice guy like you. Just be careful. Around here, compassionate people get taken advantage of. No matter your choice in life, we will gladly take your money. Yes, boy? Do you have any advice for a knight hopeful? Of course we do. We're old and opinionated. Think through all the options before making a move. Outsmart your opponents with a quick wit. And never pass up the opportunity for a good prank. Oh, that's Chester's advice, <laughs> not mine. So, I've just got to know, what is brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a fly? Oh, this? Teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's got to change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening! Oh, well, we're still working out the kings. Dear, we might need a half tablespoon of frog's breath elixir. Frog's breath elixir? Yes, uh, where is that? Uh, uh, we seem to be out of... Uh, <laughs> you drank it all again, didn't you? Muriel, my blood sugar was low. Mm -hmm. It's just so tasty. Since you can't keep your mitts off our supplies, we are halting production. 
This potion will have to wait until that merchant brings us our delivery. If you find a frog, bring it directly to me and I will gladly trade you a sample of this potion. And then I'll have to drink the delicious froggy leftovers. Until then, no more free dips. Ooh, how much for that candle? Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. Someone brought it in for repair but never paid. Tell you what, if you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle, you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. Fare thee well. May your shoes point you towards adventure and click whatever danger is near. He needs to work on his time management skills. Hey, my coin! I wish Ophi would stay put. This meeting is already way over schedule. What can I get you? How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. Bye. Fortune favors the bold, and Amaya favors the fortune. Now, Graham, promise me you will only use this for its intended purpose. I shall be brave in all my hedge trimmings. Those plants will never see it coming. That. You... That didn't need a bell. Not that type of story. It's a good thing we're auditioning potential knights. That moat monster is causing some serious problems. Have you seen the latest crop? I don't know if they have what it takes. They could all... An overgrown patch the spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to the water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. Chaco was last seen headed down here. Shame he didn't find his eye in time for the tournament. But, Grandpa, the dragon lives down there. I didn't know that yet, Gwendolyn, and pretend you don't either. This story takes place before the one I told you last night. Sometimes a story is best told out of order. Oh. Got it. <laughs> 